Welcome to Uganda. <laughs> yes, my name is Enrique. Enrique, I'm enjoying, Enrique yeah. Iglesias. Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> we just gave you a Spanish name. It's okay. Ignatius. Iglesias. Iglesias. Like Iglesias. Yeah, yeah, Iglesias. Henry the Henry the Church. Yeah. Or Henry the Great. That guy can sing very well. Yeah. yeah. He's a very good musician. <laughs> Maybe. How, how many languages do you have in Uganda? Oh, like so Nigeria, many. Like 100. Yeah, they are over 100 because we have so many tribes. Each region may have like five tribes. But if you are from the tribe next to the other tribe, can mm. you understand each other? Yeah, I can, uh, we can understand Little each other. Lit literally. Okay. Yeah. Why is it Uganda called the Pearl of Africa? Uganda has a cool environment. The weather, the climate is always stable. At this time you may see even the rain starting at this time where it is shining. I don't know whether other countries have that. But Uganda has so many tourism attractions. We have the zoo, we have the River Nile. Have you heard of the River Nile before? Yeah, of course. It's in Uganda. We have, uh, we have Victoria Lake. We have Lake Victoria, and uh, called under the name of Victoria, Queen Victoria. Uh, we have uh, Queen Elizabeth Game Park. We have so many things. And why do you have the bird in your national flag? That one is the Uganda crane. It represents the the Uganda, so it's the body. Each country has a, a something that represents its yeah, culture. Mos Mozambique has a Kalashnikov. <laughs> <What? laughs> I don't know, but Uganda, uh, it has a coat of arm which has a cob and uh, that Uganda crane. If you have noticed the Uganda flag, it has a cob and uh, the Uganda the the the, the crane what. Very nice, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna... Now this small hut used to be the royal entrance. And within it we have rooms for the royal guards. So one would stay here, another on the other hand. Uh, they are here for life. And when one dies, it's succeeded by a relative. So even now we have a representative. around the royal courtyard and it clearly shows how we used to build our houses especially for the kings uh, this house is housing the royal drums which were used in the past for communication uh, a few of them are still used even today for instance the one that receives royal members in this royal courtyard uh, we have another one that announces death in the royal family and also birth of a new royal member. They were made in 1856 and we are currently keeping them in here. The king lived alone in the main building. It was built in Avocados, yes. Hello. Yeah. There's an avocado here and then mango nice ma. Thank you very much. Yala. Yeah. Avocados and mango. Ah. Mom. Hello guys, one thing that's really delicious to buy here in Uganda are these avocados and of course everything is bigger and better in Africa. <laughs> Check it out!